Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. Um, on Friday, on uh, last Friday, Congress did put a, an extension to our current fee schedule up until February 29th of this year. So they said they will extend the 2011 rates up until that time, which put back the 27.4% rate decrease we were going to see on January 1st of this year. Um, so just because we have a 60-day moratorium doesn't doesn't mean anything we should be jumping up in for joy, but it's better than going into that reduction automatically on January the 1st. So if that had passed, not just put on postponement, we would have seen a two-year reprieve on the physician fee schedule. So if your surgeons, as well as yourselves, have not gotten onto any websites and notified your legislators of, of your um, opposition to the, the physician fees cuts, you need to still do so. You can get on um, the ACS website, ASGS website, as well as any of you are MGMA members. And even if you're not members, you can get on these websites. And it's a nice little form letter that they've created that you just put in your zip codes, and you enter your information in there, and they will jot off a little letter to your, your legislators in your area. Um, and again, the more people that, that uh, comment on this, the better chance we'll have of getting that price freeze, at least for the next two years. All right. So let's talk about um, they've, they put the, the cuts back for 60 days. Now, well, Medicare has also come out and said that they're also going to stop payment of Medicare pay, or checks right now for a period of between January 1st and January 17th. There will be no fees uh, generated from Medicare on service dates between January 1st and January 17th. Sound familiar? We went through this a couple years ago. So in preparation for the fee schedule not being approved, they have done this. So um, be prepared. It should not hurt you financially in that period of time. Um, but again, we just don't, you know, I had a feeling they were going to do this. So just, just be aware that you will not get any Medicare payments for dates of service between January 1st and January 17th until January 18th. All right. So let's talk about the new revisions for 2012. It took place in your CPT book, and it has to deal with evaluation and management services. And you will find this in the introduction to the E&M section, not the introduction to the new patient visit codes. And what they're specifically stating, that a new patient is one who has not received any professional services from the physician or another physician of the exact same specialty and subspecialty who belongs to the same group practice within the past three years. So all they're doing is reiterating that three-year rule. But they're also putting in another category of subspecialty into the mix. And I'll talk about that in just a minute and how it applies to surgical practices. They did the same thing with established patient. They said the same thing, that the established patient is one who has not seen the same say, uh, physician of the same specialty, a subspecialty in the same group practice within the past three years. This has, that three-year rule has been in the CPT book for years. All right. We've kind of gotten more uh, attuned to this since Medicare stopped paying consultations on January 1st of 2010 we've had to rely on billing the new patient visits more than we ever have. And <clears throat> the consultation services did not have the three-year rule, but the new patient services do. So it doesn't matter who our doctors have seen in the past their three years, for what reason, who they've seen in the practice, where they've seen the patient, if it's been three years under the same tax ID number in the same specialty group, this is an established patient visit. So there's another, um, on the next page you will see a little schematic of a drop-down 
specifically ask the questions, have you seen this patient in this, in, with a physician in, this, in the group of same specialty within the last three years? And if it's a no answer, it's automatically going to be a new patient. If your answer is yes, the next question is, was it of the exact same specialty? SuperCoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 866-228-9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial.